Mitral valve disease is one of the most common valvular heart disease, the other one being the aortic valve disease. And the mitral valve is a rather complex valve. And leaking of the mitral valve is one of the common problems. And often it cannot be fixed by open heart surgery because the patients are at risk for open heart surgery or they're too old or they have other comorbidities. So therefore physicians and engineers have worked together for years trying to find new solutions which are less invasive and safe for patients. So the commonest way is symptoms. Symptoms of cardiac symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, palpitations, or what we call heart failure. And then you go to a physician, they often detect a murmur, which is like a wish was sound in the heart. And that leads to an ultrasound of the heart. And usually with the ultrasound of the heart, you can pick up a leaking valve. And then once you pick up that the valve is leaking, you try to quantify the leakage by more sophisticated tests and then you do even more sophisticated tests to understand the mechanism of the leakage. During this last decade, or maybe two decades, there have been some developments, and the most important one being the MitraClip, which is a non-invasive transcatheter treatment option for treating leaking mitral valves. The therapy has been well established for high-risk patients, and there are new clinical trials being evaluating the patients who are at moderate risk for surgery. And so we're doing comparative analysis of that. In addition, there are other devices which are being developed, including transcatheter valves, which can be placed in the mitral valve position without open heart surgery on a beating heart, just through a keyhole incision in the groin. Usually patients have symptomatic improvement pretty dramatically in the first few weeks. Uh, there are patients who come and say, I can't breathe at all. And then in a few weeks there, they say they're surprised. Wow, we're less short of breath. We're not fatigued. We can lie flat. So these are the common things that we see after a successful mitral procedure. I think there's going to be a lot more solutions coming up. And uh, mitral valve is just one solution. And the treatment of mitral valve disease is like a toolbox where you'll have more than one tool available. And you can see you'll, you'll actually uh, use more than one tool. I also want to say uh, the importance of cardiac surgery. Uh, there is always going to be a role of cardiac surgery in the repair and replacement of the valves. And as time goes on, cardiologists and cardiac surgeons will be working more and more closely together in developing these techniques and actually treating patients.